if if you guys are here to learn how to successfully catch bees, like we're not the channel for it. We we're we're just we're just not kosher. Uh we're strictly here to catch bees. Not the right way. All right, y'all. You know that I keep bees. There's my hives. There's a lot more hives than when we started the season with. And that's because everybody swarms. We catch our own swarms. And because I've been so busy this summer, here's where we're at. We're at honey harvest. It's already happened. But I'm going to do a quick recap on our season in 2024 with um, our beehives. And it was sure an interesting one. Hey y'all, welcome back to Mulberry Branch Farm and today we are going to be catching our first swarm of the season because yet again I have neglected to get into my hives. So to get ready for this swarm, I've got my bee suit, I've got a pole saw, I've got a ladder, and we're going to use a tractor with the bucket lift in the front because this sucker is pretty high up in a tree and I think we're going to go ahead and use that so that I can actually catch when Mark is cutting the branch that's on with a pole saw because he can almost reach it from the ground. But he's gonna get up in the in the ladder and we're gonna lift me up in the bucket of the tractor to catch this swarm and to hopefully gently guide it into our swarm box. There's a tractor and above it is a bigger swarm. I knew this was gonna happen. I came home from church and I looked out and I said, Mark, the bees are doing something weird. Like I bet they swarmed today. And I just went on about my day cleaning out the kidding stall. And uh, he was out with some members of his family doing some uh, fun stuff on the range, range day. And if that's not enough, that we have these guys up here swarming, we have this going on over here too. So I just, I don't think we're done. I think when I am done with what I'm doing, I'm actually gonna jump in there and uh, see if I can find a queen because I feel like they're gearing to do the same thing. I am not thrilled to be in this tractor bucket right now. I am not very fond of heights and heights don't do very well for me. I just, I don't like it, even though this isn't that far off the ground. It's just enough to make me a little bit weary of this predicament catching the swarm. Now there are a couple of different factors that are gonna make the swarm catch a little bit different and a little bit more difficult. Now, the branch that these guys are actually on is a lot higher. So Mark's going to have to be on a ladder to make the cut. The wind is whipping. It is a very, very windy day, so this, branch is going to come down a lot faster than we would like and it's going to require that we do a lot of manipulation a lot of moving the tractor up and down back and forth all the things so it's it's frustrating sometimes when you're you're making these swarm catches you have the best ideas as to how things are going to go but that's really never how it plays out in reality so don't take this as a swarm catching how to do this is a we're just catching a swarm and taking you guys along with us You can just see them in the sun. I really think she's actually in here somewhere, but that was not the most lovely of uh, swarm catches that we've ever well, we got done. Them. I'm pretty sure we've got her in there, but honestly with as high as they were and the, what we're working with, mm -hmm. this is as good as it's gonna get for us. So we are, what did you, how did you say it? Trained unprofessionals? Yep. What an interesting activity. I there. Yeah. So sometimes they'll, t they'll tell you where their queen's at, and there's a lot of just bearding going on around the edges, which is fine, but, I mean, she'll eventually go in. This is even a good spot, even if she didn't pick it. Her scout bees are going to love this. This is all drawn comb from other hives, so it's not like this is a bad place for them to start out at, you know? This is actually an opportune mm -hmm. spot for them to start out at. Drawn comb. So what I'm going to do, too, I'm just going to kind of put this over. Just kind of crossway so I don't smush anybody with light so they can still go in. But guys, I think we're gonna we're gonna stop right there on this one. Yeah. I'm really worried about this one back here, but 
if we come back out like in an hour and they're all back here we know that she's in here but if these guys have all dissipated we know we caught her that wasn't the most elegant of ways for us to catch bees but yep hell's bells it worked it. I didn't oh think it was going to happen. is there a lot back up there oh no are you serious or is this this other one swarming uh, is it a different branch yeah, here's the broken branch. what that's the other branch that was touching it Oh my god. We didn't get her. We did not get her. They're dispersing. So actually Mark is behind me now and he's getting ready to do, um, he's actually sawing more because you can tell they're right back up in that tree and uh, we just need to try to figure out. So Mark's going to be taking this branch down too. Uh, yeah, he cut it and it came down <laughs> way faster. So at least now it's a, it's a, it's in a very workable position, but there's a lot of bees in the air, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna give them a second. I'm wind gusting. The wind gust. Yeah, this might work in our favor to be able to actually get underneath of it and give it a good shade. Yeah. I think she flew out. She may have flown out or she may have flown up to that... She may have been on that corner and flew out. Mm. Honestly. I can hold it where it slightly comes down, you know? Yeah, I just, I don't know what to do. I don't know where she is. Well, it took us a lot. We cut one, two, three branches down to get her. I think we finally got her. I'm a mess. He's a mess. I just got stung in the stomach. I don't know how. But you guys can tell. She is definitely the in there. I, I mean, really, they, they, they really did. And honestly, I still suspect that there might have been more than one queen in here. But time will tell. But that is a really big swarm, guys. Yeah, it's huge. Usually, it's like, I don't, I don't box them for at least a good 48 hours. I might come out here tomorrow and box them because that's a big swarm catch. How you feel about it, babe? I know. I am. I am. Very, very tired at this point. I... All right, guys, welcome back to Mulberry Ranch Farm, where yet again, I have not gotten into my beehives and it is almost May. And I actually have two swarms over here right now. I have one way up in a tree, like way, way up where we can't get to it. And I have another one down in my blackberry bushes, nice and low. I saw them swarm. I hope they are still there. It looks like they are, but uh, I'm gonna go catch them right now and have more free bees, I guess. Bees that I should have split or kept from swarming. Um, this is hive swarm three and four. The second swarm, we saw it happen, it landed, and it as soon as it landed, it, it quickly like dispersed and went. So I just don't think they're very interested in being caught, but three is way up in the tree, and four is basically right there. You guys can see like it's condensed, it's quiet, and uh Quite honestly, I'm really surprised these guys swarmed today. I was surprised yesterday at those guys up there, that are just right up there, that they swarmed. Because we've actually get, had high winds all day today, and we're supposed to get rain here shortly. Which is why these guys are all condensed down and they're really quiet, but it also means that it's liable to get real spicy when we get into them. Because they're going to want to stay compacted because they know rain is coming. <laughs>
So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to just move these guys closer to you guys. So you can kind of see what's going on here. I got a lot of them down here at the bottom that I'm just going to start kind of scooping up these I can and telling them, hey, here's home. Go find your queen. Love her. Take care of her. Cherish her. Right, babe? Yeah. Look at all of them staying home. And you just got these guys kind of being a little bit um, ornery. Okay, we just caught that other swarm, that second swarm, which would be like swarm number four. Mark just got online because he's a much smarter individual than I am. And uh, was looking at ways to catch bees, swarms that are way up in trees. I'm sorry about the wind, guys. It is windy today. And um, the guy said, if you've got a pole saw, get a five gallon bucket and just duct tape that sucker. And this, this swarm is like, it's round and it's real balled up. So you get up underneath of it with a pole saw and just, you know, swirl it around and knock them down in the bucket, bring it down and put them in your box. So I figure at this point, what do we have to lose? These bees are too high for us to get any other way. And then if they leave, then they leave. Oh, these bees. But I really, I guess really it should be, oh, the beekeeper can't keep up with anything. So how did you improve on this idea? Redneck ingenuity. ingenuity. Okay. A bolt through there with a washer on the inside. All right. We saw this somewhere else. And it's up against this rim here. All right. To help hold weight. Uh. So, and then go duct tape. Okay, so does that mean you're gonna go put that down there? Do you want me to get the ladder or are you gonna get the ladder? I'll get the ladder. Okay. Let's take this hand off so it don't get cut any branches too. Yeah, good thinking. Yep. Good thinking, sir. And I know from here, like, it doesn't do it any justice, but it's in here. And like, it, it was very noticeable yesterday. My daughter and I are out throwing softball and I looked up and I'm like, are you kidding me? And it is, I mean, guys, there's Mark and he's a ways off the tree. Like it is, <laughs> it is up in, it is up in there. It's okay. And I might need your help a bit dragging. Yeah, that's fine. Up, 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 swirl, swirl, swirl. Okay. There you go. There you go. You're okay. Yep. You're okay. Just look down and keep doing it. I hope you didn't kill anything. All right, look down. Go. Run. Run. Oh, you. First and foremost, Mark is okay. This fall was not that bad, and he did not get stung as many times as I thought. But my goodness, have we laughed so hard trying to edit this video for you guys. So while we're catching a swarm and it might seem a little intense and we're a little frustrated, in hindsight, this is hilarious. Okay. Go, 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 Literally. It's okay. Here, let me do it. I don't want you getting stunk because you are like, it's writing up. Yeah. It's writing up on me. I mean, seriously. Whoa, it's just turned in there. Put in well, there. I there we go. Yeah, they're pissed. Get out of here. They're super pissed. Oh, that ain't bad. What'd they say? You no. Know? I can't believe that stupid branch guy. Yeah. Like, of all things. In our defense, we're really not that great at that technique. But there are bees in here now. Whether we got the queen in here, I highly, highly doubt. But there were a lot in the bucket, but you can tell, like there's still some in there. But when I got caught and I pulled it, it took the tape too. So I don't know, well, some of these guys are staying home. They're staying home. Huh. They're staying home. We may have gotten her. There's still a whole bunch up there though. 
so Mark got stung. He's got a, he does not have a full body suit like I do. I probably should have been the one up there doing that, but he's gotten stung. He does react a little bit, nothing crazy, nothing like he, it'll kill him, but he'll be, uh, he's already got bronchitis right now. So probably not the best thing for him to be doing, but we've got these guys in here. There were some here on the ground, which it doesn't look like, just looking to make sure there's not a queen on the ground, but it doesn't look like there is. Just for like a quick inspection. I'm gonna take these guys, I'm gonna dump them in there real quick. If, if you guys are here to learn how to successfully catch bees, like we're not the channel for it. We, we're, we're, just, we're just not kosher. Uh, we're strictly here to catch bees not the right way we're doing the best of what we got but i mean literally guys a lot of these these bees are staying home this is not an instructional video this is purely for your entertainment because a lot of the time are you okay you fell off that ladder pretty far are you sure where did you get stung really because huh. your uh jacket's riding up pretty far in the back and I am quite worried about that. It's stung the butt. Yep. Or what's Joe call it? The yacht? Yacht. Yep. Slang for big butt, apparently. Coming from us to you. Our daughter is in middle school and we hear the darndest things sometimes. Oh, and it works. So Mark decided to get a ratchet strap instead of the tape. Is that good? Oh, you're going to cut a whole ratchet strap for that? Yep. Okay. I'm going to use it going forward. He's committed. He committed. Uh, he said you committed. Going up for another group. I'm sorry guys for the lighting. This storm is rolling in, which is probably why he got stung real bad too. But I'm trying to get it to where you guys can get the full effect of the nonsense that is happening. Amazing. They're all coming like right up onto this. Really? Yeah. Huh. I've never seen them do that before. Well, I have another frame over there. Will you get it? Yeah. Yeah, just set down right there. Oh my gosh, they're like all on this frame. Holy manolis. I've never seen this, guys. Uh, I've never seen them do this. Someone told me they would do this, but I have never, ever, ever seen it. I mean, they are run they are running onto this frame. This is the best way to get them off the ground. Look at that. They're just running up onto these frames. This is cool. This is the most amazing thing I've ever witnessed. This has picked up almost all of those bees that fell. Almost that entire bucket. It just, it comes down with too much weight. Yeah. It's hard to hold, that's, it's a lot of bees and then you get all that on top of it. It's just, it's a lot. These guys still aren't being mean. I've got some on my face mask that I'm like, really not wanting to get through my nose close to the netting but sometimes if you just go real slow too they'll they'll move out of the way so you guys can tell beekeeping here this year was kind of intense there was a lot going on and i think we're up to one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine hives, nine, nine. 
nine hives we've we did have a couple that we caught from other properties that they got here and they just didn't want to stay which is fine free bees are free bees and sometimes when they don't want to stay they just don't want to stay nothing you can do is going to make them stay um we've pulled a little bit of honey this year but i really think because now at this point we're in october and i'm probably not going to pull any more honey i'm probably just going to go ahead and take um some of the supers that have a uh, two or some of the hives that have two honey supers that are pretty well stocked and i might give those to some of the catches this year that look like they might be um, a little bit more on the struggling side so we still have our, our end of year inspection to do before i really close these guys up but they've had they've been very very productive the last time i was in at the beginning of september uh to pull honey everybody looked great all my hives were super chill we did end up losing um one of our more established hives but it was a mean hive it was um honey locust hive that stung me in the nose when i was on a horse trailer catching them so uh they did not stay with us but honestly genetic wise like i'm okay with that because they were not a nice hive and um disposition can be genetic with these guys so i was okay when they left but uh that's been our year we are not <laughs> um pro beekeepers i don't plan to be a pro beekeeper the bees are here honestly just to give um our garden some pollination to support the ecosystem around us and if we're lucky and i have time i pull honey if I were really honey driven, I would pull every single slit of honey out here that I could, but I just, I don't have the time for it. I'm out of energy for the season. I'm going to be just making sure everybody looks like they're good going into a colder season. And we're going to, we're going to call it a, a wrap, but trust me guys, we're not uh, pro beekeepers. Everybody, no beekeeper was hurt in the making of this video. Um, we have laughed so hard editing this for you guys so i hope that you do enjoy it just take it as a this is our journey not a, a, a how-to this is not a tutorial this is just enjoy our shenanigans and watch us do everything wrong so that you can feel like you're not alone when you feel like you're doing something wrong too because we all start somewhere and even we've been doing it for years so i think this is our fourth or fifth year keeping bees and uh yeah just, we still look like uh amateurs because we are we're amateurs they're not our main our, our main dig they never will be our main dig the dairy goats and um producing uh vegetables and fruit that's our that's our that's our jam so i am so appreciative of you guys coming along for us on this 2024 beekeeping recap that we've had this year i hope that you got as many giggles out of it as i did i'm um, going back and looking at it uh but leave me down in the comments below any types of suggestions. If you like this video, if you don't like this video, just leave us something in the comments, guys. Let us know that you're there and that you're watching. But in the meantime, we hope that you are all staying healthy out there and being kind to one another. God bless you. We will catch you all in the next one. Bye, y'all.